they said it takes two to three years to get a small business operating profitably. And we're going to be profitable in six months. Yeah. That's yeah. wild. It's just wild. Six months for my clients, Mitch and Rachel, to get profitable. That's exactly what happens when you put brand new state-of-the-art vending machines in high traffic locations, more than 300 daily in-person consumers. This is the video for you if you're looking to quit your job and replace your income. Mitch and Rachel are gonna tell you why they chose Vending Accelerator, how the locations got secured, what they think of my team and my mentorship, the course, the machine technology, support and service, and whether or not they even recommend my company to you. My name is Ryan O'Keefe, founder of Vending Accelerator. I build six-figure vending machine businesses so you can quit your job. And here's Mitch and Rachel's story. Enjoy. Hey, Mitch. Hey, Rachel. How hey, are you? How's going? It's going really well. Thanks for asking. Appreciate you guys jumping on here today. We wanted to talk about your guys' business down there in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and just your whole process of getting involved with Vending Accelerator, getting into the course, locations and the brochures and all that kind of good stuff as well. But I wanted to find out first, how did you guys come across Vending Accelerator? We were actually looking for a small business to buy. And so we were looking on like this buy sell and there's a couple of vending machine route postings. We actually ended up getting routed to a naturals to go posting and they scheduled a call with us. And when we talked with them, things just weren't really making a whole lot of sense. Rachel's alarm bells were going on. Yeah, yeah, especially yeah, the dollar amount per machine, it would be like each time you were paying that cost again. So then I was like, wait a minute. And so Mitch is listening to the video and I'm on my phone Googling cost of any machine, cost of training, all this stuff. And then your videos came up and I was watching it while he's watching this. And I was like, hold on, let's stop that. Let's watch this. So, <laughs> so we pretty much ended the call with them knowing that we weren't moving forward with them after seeing your videos talking about the course and, and how you do things and the numbers that you guys see. And it didn't add up on their side at all. So we were definitely gung ho to, to talk with you then. Yeah. I think they charge like eleven, twelve thousand dollars a machine or something. I think we heard 14 for the first one. Yeah. $14,000 for a vending machine? Yeah. It would be with their training, but the, the thing that got me was like every time you would have yeah, to pay like that 14 12, grand. 12, there was like, yeah. it wasn't a one-time training cost. It was every time. Got it. What are your guys' backgrounds again? So we're both engineers. I'm a mechanical right. engineer and I uh, worked for Milwaukee Tool up until March of this year. Okay. And I'm an industrial it. engineer by background, but project management, sourcing, I've played in a lot of different spaces within corporate through healthcare. Yeah. Corporate America, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And what was your goal with owning the business? So we have a couple of real estate properties, but we wanted something that's a little bit more cash flow heavy so we could use it for our day-to-day -day expenses and things like that while we grow our real estate portfolio and really get away from our corporate jobs. Got it. And Mitch, you've already been able to quit your job? Yeah, we wanted to hit this whole time really heavy. And I think it's been working out. We've been seeing the success and the momentum really building up now. Yeah, and the excitement, and the excitement. for better products for kids, for adults. And That's awesome. So then ultimately, because you guys got on the phone and you guys made a really quick decision, which was great. Just ready to go. Why did you choose Vending Accelerator? Vending Accelerator gave us the training and the information and then just your expertise of the knowledge within the operations of you doing it yourself. Like we had a coach. Like we can do the things we've learned in our previous career, but this was something new for us. Being yeah. able to have that support while we navigate Chattanooga area and vending opportunity there was really helpful. Yeah, we're both go-getters, so we, we know yeah. how to just move things forward if we got the right yep. information. So having that yep from you and then you know we were working with you when you were first getting the brochures going and all that yeah. so that was an exciting time because we got to hit each location as those brochures were first coming out and, yeah. and they were, they're super helpful and we'll get into that in a little bit yeah definitely so that was the interesting thing because i don't know is if we actually went over the brochures or if we even had those released yet no we didn't we yeah were, it we was just a talk as... yeah talk of what's coming okay so we talked about what was coming what we we're putting together but they weren't officially launched so you guys didn't even see any type of mock-up. Now we're like, we're showing them, but we blur out all of the proprietary information. And you guys know which right. information that is. And so you didn't even get a look at them. Got it. And basically it sounds like you believed in the blueprint, being able to have access to me and my expertise of 14 years to give you guys the right information. Because with it, like you said, you'll move it forward. You just need the right information, which you guys definitely did. <laughs> yeah. And even without the brochures, we trusted that you had the experience and all yep. that the knowledge that would help us. Yep. And we saw that and we saw your passion for the industry and then bringing healthier options. And that was something we wanted to be a part of. Cool. Yeah. So talk to me about that, getting inside the course, working with my team, because my team still did the great vetting process that they do today, mapping out basically the whole marketplace as far as all the high traffic locations, doing the vetting, finding out the right person to talk to, asking the right questions. How was that process for you guys? It was fantastic. I think within seven to 10 days, we had our full list of 
pretty much everywhere that we wanted to, to look at and, and whether or not they had vending and what to target. We had our locations launch call with you so we could figure out exactly which ones to go after first. That would have taken us probably a few weeks to get that done ourselves. Yeah. And not knowing the questions to ask and all that kind of stuff, it would, have, it would have definitely taken us much longer to even get the format set up. It's really helpful like knowing like when you're walking in the place and they're looking at you, I've never seen you before, like you know, <laughs> the name of the person you're asking for. And yeah. so just, hey, is the principal there? Whatever, like having that insight was really helpful. It makes it a lot easier, especially knowing like where there's opportunity. No machines, broken down machines, old machines, outdated equipment, unreliable, whatever it may be, makes it quite a bit easier than wasting your time at places where you don't know you have that or not. Okay, cool. And then, yeah, I came to you guys and I said, hey, we've got this new tool and it's these location brochures. Today we call them six-figure location brochure collection, but you guys were one of the first people to actually test them out. And they're pretty much the same as what they were then because I realized of with some minor tweaks that we just got to put the most shocking and most moving things right at the beginning to get someone's attention. So talk to me about the brochures, what you thought of them initially and how they helped. I think the biggest thing is you got to see us from without the brochures and then with the brochures. And we even waited to do specific clients until you had that area settled because we knew as soon as they saw the brochure, they understood and they could visualize what we were trying to sell and help them. And really, we didn't have to paint that picture. So it yeah. saved our time. So like Mitch would have his list of like 10 places to go. Let's get the <laughs> brochures printed out, ready, go. And yeah. made that bridge much easier. Yeah, a lot of times we were just waiting on the print shops to get them done yeah. so we could go and get out. <laughs> yeah, I think right. there's two major things. So the first brochures that we ever used were the YMCA's. And a couple of things that really stood out on there was like you have certain icons you put right on that front cover that just grab people's attention. And they're like, oh, really? You know that? Yeah. Are you, you, you're that? And oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, I know exactly and, what you're talking and, about. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and the other piece, I think, is having that professional looking marketing material that would have taken us months to create ourselves yeah. shows that we're a more serious business than right. if they were just getting approached by some random mom and pop operation that wanted to just put a couple vending machines on Chattanooga and, and make a little bit extra money, right? They're seeing that we're a serious business, that we're going to take care of them, that we are going to make sure that they're happy with what with our service and our products. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's like after that initial introduction and they would see the brochure in our hand and they were like, can I look at that? And then they would just be like, okay, yep let's meet at this time. Yeah, exactly. And it gives you that professional appeal right from the get go. And like you mentioned, you don't have to paint the picture for them. You don't have to go in there and take off your engineering hat and put on your sales hat. You just give them the brochure when that does it for you for the most part. When it comes down to it, if you can put it in percentage wise, when it comes to zero to 100%, how much did that brochure get you guys to a signed agreement for the locations you secured? Was that 80%, 90%, 95% without even having to do much? other than give uh, brochure. Yeah, I definitely think it was 80 to 90%. I start some of the conversations like, I am not a sales guy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is not, I, I don't have a pitch for you. I just want to have yeah. a conversation but, and, they're, and they <laughs> disarms them as well because I'm truly not a sales guy, but you right. know, can just talk through the, the information in the brochure really easily. So it's definitely 80, 90% gets them there, gets them to being ready to sign. Yep. And then a lot of times if it's a GM or something like that, they just check with their management or their ownership and then they're good to go. Yeah, yeah that like interdependent Department. So like we would talk with someone and then they would want to check. So they would have that brochure to check within their school yep. or the one yeah, they don't have to, to remember. share. They don't have to remember and they don't have to try to, yeah. Just yeah, drop. that was huge. Yeah. You yeah. know how a telephone game goes. <laughs> like they try to remember what you told them, screw yep. it all up, and then the ownership doesn't want to move forward versus yep. the brochure right in front of them. All the numbers and everything are right there. They can just easily transfer that information. That's a really great point, of you guys, because in the sales world, if you don't have both decision makers on the phone, you've got to get both decision makers on the phone or the decision maker on the phone. If that person isn't the decision maker, because you don't want to rely on that person to sell your product or service. <laughs> Right. So you're able to give them the brochure that they can hand off to that actual decision maker and not be concerned that the same message won't be relayed. Yeah. Yeah. And like in having the, you talked about the products on the brochure, but also the benefit right away. They're like, what's, yeah. you know, what's in it for me? And seeing that dollar value got them excited to talk more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And correct me if I'm wrong, you guys even had left brochures with samples and had somebody follow up with you how long later? Yeah, we actually walked in two months after dropping samples and brochures and just chatting with the front desk. And then they were ready to go without even having that conversation with the decision maker. 
Mm-hmm. So you ended up walking back in because they- We were in the area. So we stopped by about two months after dropping samples and, and brochure. They were ready to go before we even walked in the door because they were supposed to follow up with us and they just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember now. So the principal said, hey, this is a go. I really love this and handed off to one of his team members and yep. he felt follow up with you guys, correct? Correct. Yeah. yeah. They saw and then, you and they're like, didn't we email you? And you're like, no. What were they supposed to tell me? <laughs> they were supposed to get back to us about Because I didn't know if it was still positive or negative at that point. And they were like, yeah. oh, no, we were ready to move forward. Yeah. Yeah. So they just failed to email you. But fortunately, they're like, oh, yeah, you're the guy with the brochure. We're good to go. We're ready to move forward. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's beautiful. <laughs> good. And then also inside of Bending Accelerator, you have the course, you have the location clinics. How has the course been for you guys? Yeah. The course was great. It was something that we are a quick study on our own. So we were able to crank through that when two, three nights. I remember. Kids went to bed. Yeah, we would would just fly through all the videos and information. And it was great to be able to get up and and running then. And then we could go back through it a few times before we would go to a location or something like that. Just make sure that we knew all our information we were going to help share uh, with them as well. Yeah, we had, it gave you an idea of what you were getting into so that you ran through different scenarios. So then it helped us as we, every location has its uniqueness. So the course helped with that. I just referred back to it too. A week and a half ago when we put our first machine in the location. So we could refer back to the machine install videos so we could get everything set up without really anybody's help because it was right on the videos. All that information was there. Good. And then you guys have been part of our location clinic calls, which are hosted by me Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. How have those helped you guys? Those have been fantastic. And, And the big help there is people's problems that they're running into, whether they're ahead or behind us in the business, doesn't really matter. They're hitting issues that we probably didn't hit yet. Even if we're going to go to visit a new location, that new location might have a question that was answered in the clinic. And we're hearing that answer right there and and getting that solved or bringing our own questions and and concerns there and and getting that resolved. I think it's helping way above and beyond even trying to schedule one-on-one with you like we were the first couple weeks, right? because you're just always available those three days of the week for those clinics. And it makes it so accessible. And that's exactly why we did it was that because I was like, I can't continue to do one-on-ones with everybody. We can generally ask and you know answer everybody's questions in group settings and then it gives everybody else the opportunity to learn and we keep them intimate as you guys know we keep them 15 or less clients so that way i can make sure i get through everybody's questions or situation or circumstance or they need a strategy or whatever it may be and then if it's more high level it needs to be more honed in then i'll break off on one-on-one calls and then there are replays inside of the client community and emailed out to you guys so you can rewatch at any time now you guys actually were one of the first ones don't know if you know this or not who actually applied one of the strategies that we were initially talking about. How did that go? It was awesome. Yeah, we we were just trying to figure out a way to really wow that decision maker and get into that location and get them to sign an agreement. That strategy just sealed the deal for us, honestly. Yeah, I walked in. The principal, I remember, was like, hang on a second. I had another vendor to talk to, but you know what? We're going to move forward. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So talk to us about your locations. What locations have you secured so far? Yes, we've got a high school of about 800 students and staff. We just installed that machine, like I mentioned, about a week and a half ago. Yep. That one's been fantastic. We've got a middle school that we just got. That was actually the one where they failed to call us back. So we've got that machine yep. coming in this week. And then How many that, students uh, at the middle school? That middle school is about 800 as well. And then we've got a Baptist Academy around here in Chattanooga, and they are about 60 1600 strong wow. and about a thousand fifth grade and above. So we are, we're definitely excited for that one. They've got some other vending and definitely looking forward to that partnership with them, being able to bring some healthier options, really show them what we're able to do. And that'll likely yep. grow into multiple machines there as well. Absolutely. And it's connected to a church as well, correct? Yeah. So they got some activity on the weekends as well for, yep. for church services and things like that. Did you say the congregation 4,000? They mentioned something like 4,000 people there on the weekends. for Wow. Services. So it's just wild. We don't know what that looks like yet about right. what, what that means for the machine and, and how much sales and stuff it's going to do. But we'll find out here shortly. And that first school got installed, like you said, a week and a half ago. And you said, oh, it's doing really well. What When you say really well, because I already know what your first day of sales were. <laughs> and we haven't talked since then. How are sales been going? What was your first day? And then talk about since then. Yeah. So our first day was $220 in sales in a day. That's 120 vends, which yep. is unheard of. And it's sitting next to it. Like, and it's sitting next to the Coke machine. So this is all preface to say that about 200 students of that 800 student population haven't been there because seniors were already let out a week prior. So they've only got, say, like 600 people in the building. We've been getting 60 vents consistently each day since 
that first day. So we were making about 120 to $150 a day just from that one machine in that school. Wow. I'll tell you that 120 vends in a day at a school isn't unheard of. That's actually <laughs> quite common. And you go to schools and you're available to the students all day long. Yeah. To hear that's yeah. without seniors. Yeah. Seniors let out a week yeah. prior. Holy cow. That's amazing. So yeah. you guys are doing some big numbers there. Now you also mentioned Coke machines because initially you had a concern about the Coke machine and it wasn't until you guys found out that you could actually place there because the Coke contracts weren't restrictive. Yeah, there's no written Coke contracts around here. So we were able to, to place there and put whatever we wanted there. So we didn't go in with combo machines. Yeah, you went in with combo machines offering snacks and drinks because we talked about all the different types of Coke contracts. There's several of them and to be aware of which one it is, there's several, which is obviously huge beneficial to you guys right absolutely yeah just being able to have that conversation without previously knowing the different types of contracts that were available we wouldn't have had that conversation if we hadn't been through the course and talked with you about those different things just said oh you, you guys work coke okay great if you're happy with them then i guess we're moving on figuring out that we can place there and put anything we want and compete against them pretty easily especially because the students like our options way more than what coke can provide for them locally. yeah and i think yeah. The, the other piece with the contract sign was like the principal being like, let's see how it does. And yeah, it does. then we eventually can remove coke. So building that relationship and yeah. yeah. When we That's shared awesome. her profit sharing amount that from that <laughs> just that first day, she was like, All right, let's go. We, we know this is working already. It's only it's a yeah. last week of school and all that. We were already talking with her about bringing in BevMax machine for next year, making sure that they're well taken care of. Their school is gonna be expanding in, in the next year or two at, to add a middle school. So we're gonna have some additional business there which is pretty fantastic so we'll already have proven our system with their high school so they're going to definitely be on yeah. for bringing it into the middle school too no it's awesome and correct me if i'm wrong there's very limited options correct the problem with the options that they can provide is it's all the diet stuff or the zero yep. sugar stuff but it just doesn't have the right taste that students are looking for you guys brought in just a way wider variety of selections when it comes down to it and what speaks to our planograms how well did our planograms help you guys when it comes to knowing which products qualify for the guidelines and which ones don't. That would have taken is, a long time. Yeah, that's something we wouldn't have even known to look into until we even talked to a principal, which probably would have taken at least six months without your guidance, <laughs> you know, to actually get a conversation and then find out that they have to comply with the national food uh, regulations and all that. And then finding products that work with that enough to fill a vending machine it takes a long time. It takes a lot of information. And I think of that first day at the school, like we at least had like a foundation of all the products we can. And then the kids would be like, I like this. I'm not sure about this, but like, we can kind of <laughs> customize it to what they really like. The various products that school sells at, because we manage it ourselves, like we can favor it that way. Yeah. yeah we've been back to fill that one three times already in a week and a half. So a high school of 800 students, a middle school of around 800 students, and then the Baptist Academy with over a thousand fifth graders and above another 600 students, a very busy congregational 4,000, I think that was the number over the weekend. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to seeing how well those do for you guys because obviously you'll, you'll be putting another machine or two there as well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's a few more in the pipeline that are just not quite signed yet, but hoping to get them either okay. this year or next. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. So what's the goal for you guys over the next 90 days? And it's really interesting because starting the course and all that, we were talking somewhere between, I think, six and eight or, or eight and 10 machines or something like that. We thought would be good based on your projections and all that for what we wanted for our family and stuff. But with the momentum and everything going on in Chattanooga, we're going to be there. There probably in the next two months. Maybe I'm a, I'm full time. Yeah, uh -oh. take Rachel out of her corporate career too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, get you both out we'll for jobs. I love that. Hopefully they're not watching. We'll have to buy her. A, we'll have to buy her own vending van. <laughs> yeah, there we go. How much easier has Vending Accelerator, our tools, mentorship, the course, the brochures made it easier for you to get to where you are today versus had you not had any of those things? You can't even describe how long <laughs> it would have taken us to get yeah. to this point, right? We, you we just had the inkling of the idea of bringing healthier options when we first looked at a, like a vending listing on Biz Buy Sell. Oh, this would, this would be great. They have all these junk food. Let's bring healthier options. But it's like for us to get to where we are now, probably been like two years especially getting high traffic locations we wouldn't have thought to go after certain locations especially schools and stuff you normally see vending machines at a motel or a right. laundromat or something like that but they're not high traffic locations you're going to make a couple bucks every couple weeks whatever yeah. you're not really making decent money a lot of people talk about the big pie in the sky locations oh you need to go get in the airport you need to go get in this massive location like we don't need all of that 
your vending machine can only cater to so many people. Plus, that's a long process. You can get into something much faster than that and make just as much money. Yeah, yeah. totally. Or my favorite is that healthy stuff doesn't sell. <laughs> yeah, we've heard that yeah. a bunch around here. All yeah. this person or that person tried that it doesn't work or the kids don't like the taste or whatever. And now that we've seen it in the high school, like it's 100% proven already that this is going to work. Yeah. I think the biggest difference between what we do it through Vending Accelerator and Free Healthy Vending versus what other people try to do with healthy vending is they try and bring the, the junk adjacent stuff, not the yeah. healthy stuff. Whereas we went full on, let's go to the healthy side of shelf stable products, bring all those in. That's a big right. thing even with parents that have kids in a YMCA or something like that, that they don't know their kid's going to eat. So give a bunch away for free, but let all the kids try it or let the other kids try it and tell their kids they really like it. And then the parents have no problem spending money on it once they know that the kids can, are, are going to eat it. Yeah, absolutely. That's one thing that getting parents in favor of it because they're actually getting healthier alternatives, what we like to call better for you selections and not what a lot of people think when it comes to healthy Bendy broccoli in a bag, carrot sticks. Right. Yeah. I love carrot sticks. But anyway, so on that, you do have machines on the ground. Talk to me about the crane machine and talk to me also about using our machine operation support in Brian as well. Yeah. The machines, I don't think we truly believed you 100% when you said they're beautiful. But when I first walked into that high school hallway, I was sitting there because I didn't get there until after they had it in the hallway. Yeah. It's beautiful. Even the principal, all the assistant principals are sitting there. This machine is really nice nice. You know, like, <laughs> it actually looks good versus other machines that they've got in the building. So definitely they look great. They operate well. We really have very minimal issues. A couple of startup things that, that just need to get resolved. But that piece you were talking about, Brian and the operations and getting support and stuff like that. This probably won't always be the case, but right now, like Brian answers my call anytime I call him. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty wild that he's able to do that. And, and he puts a ton of time in the business and really cares about making sure that everybody's got the support they need. He runs the operations clinics. You can bring any questions you need there every week. It's not urgent, stuff like that. And then even our local support through Crane and the, and the machines, being able to get on the phone with them pretty quickly, we got something resolved. But within an hour of calling customer support, we were able to get that issue resolved either through Brian or the local customer support for the machine manufacturers. You referred to the training for the machine setup and all those yeah, we different went back videos into, that were extremely helpful. Yeah, we went back into the course for machine setup, so I didn't even need somebody really on the phone or on the ground to set it all up. It really wasn't hard, right? If you can fix some simple things around your house, you can probably fix or set up a, a vending machine as well. Big part of the brochures and a big part of vending accelerator is actually free healthy vending. And it's Correct. our national brand. And when it comes to that, because the brochures speak to this, obviously, hugely, you guys have your local brand and it's you know powered by is what we say, the free healthy vending brand, being able to use our credibility, our footprint, our reputation. How much did that help you guys? It helps a lot, honestly, having all the different locations in the brochure, different people that we've talked to already. They're not sure if it's going to work in our area and our demographic or whatnot. It's like we can already use those different places that free healthy vending is operating. Say, hey, we're using the same structure business products strategy as these different places if it works there and if it works all across the country in many different demographics in many different areas it's gonna work here yeah, yeah. Like, there's no question you just need someone and a vending operator that cares enough to help make it work. Yeah. Um, I think the comfort too of having like us being the local affiliate of something larger, that that, that right. get us the buy-in as well. Yeah, you've got the yeah. small business aspect, but you've got the credibility of a large organization. Mm -hmm. Vending accelerators, yeah, has it lived up to your expectations? Has it exceeded your expectations? I think where you're at now, it exceeded our expectations, right? Having the course, free healthy vending, vending accelerator that exists today, people are getting a steal for starting up a business. It is quite a deal for them to be able to get all of this ready to go. You guys have all the locations clinics, the operations clinic, the course, all that information, the community, even the partner vending operators in different areas. Like we reached out and talked with a bunch of them different times when we have questions and stuff like that too. And they're always super helpful too. If you take initiative, you're looking to start your own business. You have, because of this course, you have all everything you need to get going. And, and having yeah. your coaching and now with the clinic call, do it in two months. It, it, it accelerated the timeline. As soon as those brochures went in and then it started the like coaching, the locations clinic calls, like that made things start rolling really quickly. Yeah, you make a good yeah. point, right? It's You still have to be a go-getter. You still have to want to run and own your own business. Yeah, like you get a head start, like a year and a half, 18 month head start. On getting your business. Most information you'll see online, they say it takes two to three years to get a small business operating properly. We're going to be profitable in six months. 
Yeah. That's yeah. wild. It's just wild. Yeah. <laughs> Great way to put it, guys. It gives you an absolute big head start. And ultimately what it comes down to is we're going to do the things that we need to do, which are we're going to give you access to the course. My team's going to do the first two weeks of all the vetting and from the listing on all the high traffic locations, making the phone calls to find the opportunities. But if you don't have the motivation to just to bring these brochures in with the product samples, the way that we teach you how to do it, then this business doesn't work for you. You guys took and ran with the brochures. And if you just have the ability to do that, this thing will work and that's really what it comes down congratulations so far on all your success the locations you guys have gotten schools that's the golden goose that's what everybody wants when they work with me so awesome thank you guys for getting on here i appreciate it yeah. i can't wait to yeah, you guys yeah. continue to grow see what you're gonna where you're gonna be in six months and a year and I, we can't wait to hear when rachel quits her job that's right that sooner, sooner, sooner rather than later she's ready now yeah. so. <laughs> good well, again congratulations we'll see you guys soon and just keep doing a great job you're doing awesome i love it